hey guys welcome back to my channel before we get started i just want to give a quick shout out and say thanks so much for being the first to comment in my last video so for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to transform a set of press on nails so as you can see these are very floral um very spring vibe and that's the look i was going for today just wanted to give you guys a spring look um these nail covers were purchased off of Shein. Super inexpensive, but super high quality. Very impressed with these press-ons. They're very nice and thick, not flimsy like your typical press-on. As you can see though, these press-ons are a bit translucent and that's perfect. That's actually what you want when doing this method. So honestly, the cheaper see-through ones work best to this method because you're able to transform them into looking like you know you stepped right out of a nail salon so all i'm doing is going in now and i'm just sizing them out to my nails um and just making sure that they pretty much fit wall to wall the great thing about these um press on nail kits is that they typically come with a bunch of different sizes so if you have wider nails and more narrow nails or anything in between Typically, these are definitely going to come with a nail that fits best for you. They come in like sizes 0, I've seen like sizes 0 to 14. So next is the actual application. We will never in a million years be using nail glue. Toss it out. Well, actually don't toss it out because you can use nail glue for various things, but for pressing on fake press on nails, absolutely not. Nope. And that's the main thing that people do because that's the main method people know. But we're going in with a solid nail tip glue gel. Um, a lot of people ask me about the texture of it. It's a more putty texture, so not Play-Doh, but a putty. That's the texture that this is, and it's super easy to use. As you can see, I literally just scooped a pea-sized amount, pressed it on my nail, and there it is. So you can see here I'm going in and I'm doing multiple nails at once to help eliminate the time that my hand is in and out of that UV lamp. Um, so typically I'll go in, do all four fingers, wipe around the edges and make sure that I get any of that excess solid nail tip glue gel that squeezed out. I just make sure I fully remove any of that excess that might have squeezed out on the cuticles or on the sides of the nails. Remove it before curing because if you cure and then try and remove, it's going to be like solid frozen stuck and it's going to be very difficult to remove so you just want to make sure that you do that beforehand um, so I do all four fingers cure and I just do a quick flash cure about 15 seconds um, and you always do your thumb separately cure that for another 15 seconds and then cure maybe your thumb for 30 seconds actually and then cure your whole hand for about a minute also, cure time is going to depend on the op opacity of your nails. So if your nails are more see-through, it'll cure faster when using this product. If they have a little bit more of a color tint to them, then you might need to keep them under the lamp a little bit longer. Um, but you cannot use this method with nails that are fully co covered in color. So like a black solid nail or any colored solid nail 
this method won't work because the light needs to be able to penetrate through the nail in order for the product to cure. So that's why the more translucent, the better. So here's what the nails are looking like. Super fun, super cute, but very long. I will be cutting these down for me personally, but I'm just going to go in and first kind of make these nails look like they're not a pack of press-ons. So here's the steps we're going to do to achieve that look. First thing is take this drill bit. This is the Melody Susie 2-in-1 drill bit, and I'm using this round ball drill point tip. And I'm just going in and really making those cuticles flush to my natural cuticles so it looks like a smooth transition. And this is really just going to help create that seamless look of an acrylic set, if you will. So I'm just going in and really just shaping up those cuticles. Next, I'm going in with some nippers and I'm just going around and getting any excess, you know, solid notes of blue gel that I might have not gotten off before, or just any excess. So now I'm gonna cut them down. This is Definitely one of those tools that you need in your nail kit if you don't have it already. This is a nail size cutter and this just helps make sure that when you do cut your nails down to length, all of your nails are the same size. So as you can see, there's like dials. I went on dial five for this one. Typically they all go up to dial six. Um, and I'm just cutting them down, like I said, and this really helps make sure every single nail is the same size. All right, and now we're going to go in and file. Definitely one of the most important steps into transforming any false nail um, nail covers. You want to make sure that you're using a nice file. This is an 80-80 grit file purchased off of Amazon, and I'll be sure to have the link to them down below. Uh, next, this is one of my other secret hacks is this Young Nails Protein Bond. You can use a dehydrator or actually you can use a primer and it just really helps melt that cuticle into your nails and into your cuticle and it just helps give it a seamless look. And now we're going to do top coat. So I'm just using this basic clear top coat. This is my favorite top coat. This one is by Model Ones. Um, this is not their no wipe top coat. This is their basic gel top coat and it's my absolute favorite. Um, so I'm just going in and I'm doing that, but I'm gonna show you some other things you can do instead. So I'm going in with two different methods or two different polishes of different quote top coats that you can use or layering coats. So this is um, a pearlescent shade by OPI and I, I don't know how to pronounce it but you can, you can see um, the title on the screen of the color name. And I'm just going in and doing a thin layer of this. Um, thin layers that don't have much that aren't as opaque um, are things that you can use to kind of go over a nail and kind of create your own look. So especially with floral, a lot of people were into like the milk bath, milky nails. You can go in with a milky white polish on top of this. I used that pearlescent one. I wasn't too big of a fan of that one, but I do have this no wipe top coat that has a slight shimmer glitter in it. And this one was my favorite. I absolutely love this, but you can get really creative with your top coat. You don't always just have to use a basic clear top coat. You can go with a matte top coat, this shimmery one, or different colors like that, like a, like a milky white, or maybe even a translucent nude or a beige. 
and it'll really help elevate your nails and make it look like you truly stepped out of a nail salon. Okay, so last and final step, cuticle oil. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you're investing and in using a high quality cuticle oil. And here's the final look. So all in all, I only did one set. If you were to do your whole hand, it might take you about a good maybe 30 minutes to transform some nails especially if you did some extra steps like i explained at the end but the final look is amazing i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to leave me a like comment and subscribe i love you guys so much and i'll catch you in my next video